Hey, today we got another project on the Explorer. We're gonna do a real easy modification and that's to add tow hooks to this. Um, and they already have come up with spots to put them. There's just a blank here that you can take out on both sides. And then underneath we've already got the holes for it right here and here and these two pins need to be pushed out to get rid of the blank so these are the tow hooks that I'm gonna install their factory and they came off of an early 2000s uh, expedition or f-150 I had a harder time finding ones for an Explorer, but they should be the same. We are into the car. First thing we need to do on these is to push in the centers of the clip. And that was a little too far on the first one, but you can see that the middle pushes down and I pushed out the center of the first one, but it can be reused. It's just a, a push clip. So there, now they're both together. And then that loosens this, and that's all there is to it. And this blank is now out of there. So that's what it looks like on the front. And then we uh, mount, mount it something like that. And when we're done, it's gonna look like that. Now if you get the stock ones like I did with the stock hardware. This is how the two nuts um, get held in there. And then this is sits inside the frame. And then these screw up from the bottom. If we use the stock hardware, problem is gonna be that. This, uh, this needs to go inside the frame and it does not fit through here. So I'm gonna have to loosen this and this bolt and move the bumper forward and then slide this piece in through the, through the front, I believe. So hopefully that won't be too much of a pain in the butt. I mean, there's, you know, there's a little, tiny space right here but not enough so hopefully I can loosen these two bolts slide this forward a little bit and then slide this piece in and then bolt it up and that's all that there would be to it but let's see how hard that's gonna be all right I'm just gonna wing this the bolts here are 15 millimeter just like the tow hook uh, bolts so just gonna start loosening this and see if how much things move because I'm not sure I've never taken off the bumper and I'm not sure how much things move so we'll just see and of course I need a short socket <sighs> a smaller socket a wrench so I could get in there and it has to be somewhat deep because the bolts are deep I'm hoping these are the only two I have to loosen to move it enough to gain access we'll see in just a minute Hopefully I don't mess everything up.
Okay, we got a little bit of movement. Is that enough? Uh, it has to go this way. Not enough. I think I can do this with one hand, but let's try. Nope. Okay, not this. Uh -uh. Getting there. Okay, is that enough? It's tipping. Yes. Okay, now let's make sure that we can get the tow hook on. Without moving stuff around too much. If I can get these two bolts started through here, we're home free. I see the threads. It's definitely starting. Let's go slower here. Okay, I definitely have it started now. And let's see if we can. And the other thread should be right there too. But now that I've got this other side belt started, it feels like it should be super simple to get it in there. So much for being easy. Wow. Did not expect that to be that hard. I guess maybe I should start the other one first. Let's see how much we can 
see how it does. I got that cranked down, so or this one wouldn't be very close. I don't know. That must be going in now. Probably cross threading it. Almost. Oh. Okay. I think I got it. And this is in the right spot. Feels like it's down properly. And this is super tight. So that's that's the finished product. One down, one to go. pretty good fits just fine so now let's do the other side hopefully it's easier actually I guess I have to finish screwing the bumper bracket bolts back on before I totally screw something else up This side, I should say. It's coming back together. And Murphy's Law says that when you take off a socket, it rolls as far away from you as possible. OK, 
Okay, now we're done with this side. Screwed back on, everything's bolted down. Now let's see if my bumper still <laughs> looks okay. Looks like nothing moved here, so. Sweet. Okay, now let's do the other side. Same steps. Okay, I'm back. So I did have to unscrew the, the bolt almost all the way out and then pound this out a little bit and uh, that gave me enough to get this pushed in the end of the frame and then it should fall down in here. bolt holes lined up and then we should be able to get the other tow hook stuck in here hopefully I can set it right here it doesn't fall on my face let's try to do the front bolt first Trying to line it up here. And I hope it's starting into the cross thing. feels like it is I'm hoping that it is and then this one hopefully will screw in a little bit too yeah it looks like they're getting in there it still feels cross threaded but what can I do about that that's how I got it so It's finished now. Hopefully they are actually engaging in the threads. Looks like I got them 
both started this time. Those went in a lot quicker and a lot easier. So maybe that means they're not craft threaded, but let me tighten this up. dumb all right we're finishing this up there tightening on this one that torque spec is good and tight isn't that how it works okay that one on too and now we need to uh, tighten these bolts up top back on and uh, hopefully I won't have any issues with that so we've got to close up this gap that was right here you think in the comments I think they look pretty cool look up uh, on eBay expedition or f-150 like early 2000s tow hooks cast iron tow hooks and you'll find a few of them not too badly priced less than a hundred dollars for the pair and some come with the hardware and some don't and I wanted the hardware the original hardware and that made it you know a little bit harder because I had to get space uh, in the end of the uh, frame to get the piece in there but if you don't have that and you have to use nuts and bolts that you buy yourself you're gonna have to get either the bolt from up top into the hole or stick the bolt through the bottom and hold the nut inside the frame so either way it's not the easiest in that regard but overall it's definitely an easy uh, upgrade and I think it looks great